Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Anybody that's new to the channel, my name is Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about this one penny stock in the pharmaceutical sector of the market that has a lot of potential for high growth. And that company is called Titan Medical, ticker symbol TMDI. Now, this company has been surging as of late in the past two months, has gained over 300% in shareholder value. So in this video, I want to talk about what exactly is Titan Medical, what type of company they are, what type of services and products do they offer, what are their financials, I'm gonna try to give you guys my full analysis and my price prediction in this one video as always always try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that i possibly can and try to make sure you guys are the most informed as possible and if this is something you like and do enjoy please make sure you give the video a big thumbs up so in this video we're going to talk about titan medical and how this one penny stock could probably be a must buy stock right now so without further ado guys let's get on with the video Titan Medical Inc. ticker symbol TMDI right now after hours is trading at $2.80. And you can see as of late, it has been going green. Okay, in the past five trading days, it's still green. And if we look back just about a month, you can see that it had, it had a lows of around $1.55 and it reached a high of around $3.24. It doesn't have too big of a market cap with $245 million and their average volume is $2.9 million. Again, when it comes to penny stocks, there is a lot of volatility because if it's penny stock, penny stocks are risky, okay? Time Medical is focused on the development of computer-assisted robotic surgical technologies for applications in MIS, comprising its single port robotic surgical system, okay? So they basically help build technologies of robots to help surgeons perform open surgery, okay? In plain terms, just in case anybody did not understand the definition of TMDI, okay? If we look at quickly at their financials, you can see their EPS, when this chart only goes up to 2019, you can see that their EPS, it has been improving over the years, okay? Which is always a positive sign as for investors if you're trying to actually invest into companies. Right now, at the 2019, they have operating income of negative $59 million, and in their balance sheet, they have more liabilities than assets, which is something, as investors, you always try to worry about. Okay, but in Titan Medical, you can see right here off the bat, this is probably a surgeon getting ready for an operation. Okay, and this is their main product right here with the screen. You see the arms, you see the chair. This this product right here is called the Enos product, and this is probably the main catalyst of this company right now. Okay, Titan Medical is focused on developing robotic assisted technologies for application in single access surgery. They have a vision where basically they believe that there is potential to reduce surgical trauma and improve patient outcomes through the use of single access including single port and single orifice surgery versus open surgery or minimal invasive surgery involving multiple incisions okay now let's take a quick look at their money maker the enos okay again this is the enos okay you can see how the surgeon right here is sitting down and they're going to be looking at this monitor at all times this monitor is trying to give you guys the most high depth maybe even sometimes 3d imaging to make sure that the surgeon is more in depth or with what's actually going on in the in the open chair okay enos robotic single access surgery the enos surgical system is designed to deliver clinical capabilities beyond current robotic offerings okay in their website they have a video on how this robot actually works okay we're gonna just take a quick look not go too much in depth on it but you could already see how the surgeon is maneuvering these hands right here these hands they have different adjustments and different tips we can always keep adjusting it and those are the maneuverings and that's how you actually start to maneuver those hands those hands have a lot more flexibility and they keep on improving on this enos product how they're going to keep they have so many patents and so many different types of technologies and innovations that has and goes into this enos project that keeps on improving the machine okay you can see he's not even looking at the patient let's say in this model but it's still he's doing perfect sutures and closing up the wound okay this is pretty awesome if anybody's interested into looking at this video i'm gonna put the link down in the description so you guys can actually watch the full video with the full audio and this is the workstation you can see the the monitors right here where the surgeon will be handling these are the or the pedals or the or how you actually just gonna start to move the hands you're gonna be in a comfortable chair and always you're always gonna be 100 percent engaged what this workstation workstation is gonna do is to try to minimize human error okay they are trying to basically perfect surgery they're trying to limit these mistakes when it comes to open surgery when which in my opinion guys this technology is pretty advanced 
in an age that we have no, no sort of technology in the medical field like this. And these are the arms, okay? This is basically the key point to how Enos is going to function. You can see that these tips have many different adjustments. You could adjust it to you know, a hook, a needle driver, or adjust it to whatever type of surgery or whatever type of adjustment you actually need to perform that surgery correctly. They have 64 US and international patents issued already and 86 applications pending, meaning they're getting ready to improve even more on this Enos design. Okay, in my opinion, as a, a potential shareholder and investor, this kind of does excite me to see what type of other improvements they actually have moving forward. Preclinical procedures, they have 45 procedures performed up to date. GYN and GYNONC, they have eight procedures. The urology, 19 procedures. General surgery, 14 procedures. And colorectal, four procedures, okay? And this makes me very excited. They already have 45 performed procedures up to date using this Enos device, okay? Now, the reason this company has been surging is because when it comes to a lot of penny stocks, a lot of penny stocks tend to have a lot of debt in their name, okay? But now, what Time Medical has been doing is they have been raising capital. They closed on the $11.5 million offering back in the last week of January. And just a couple of days ago, they closed another $15 million bought deal offering. So in just a span of a couple of weeks, they gained over $26.5 million into their balance sheet, okay? And again, that may worry some investors, but check this out. When they reported their third quarter earnings, they were highlighted that by the company improved cash positions, which as of September 30, 2020, reflects a positive difference of approximately $24 million compared to its cash position of December 31st of 2019, meaning they have more cash in their balance sheet than many a lot of penny stocks actually have, okay? And one of the biggest highlights is their cash and cash equivalents as of September 30, the $24.6 million compared to the $9 million that they had in the previous year. And as of September 30, 2020, the company had a working capital of $16.5 million of capital compared to a deficit of $9.6 million. So they have been improving their balance sheet on top of the $26.5 million that they just got from their share offerings, okay? And another thing that I kind of wanted to highlight is that their senior officer at Time Medical is buying shares. Sometimes when an insider is buying shares, that kind of means some sort of developments are actually taking place in the background. So it doesn't give you necessarily a good 100% confidence to buy into the stock just because an insider is buying it, because that's just their prediction as well. But it does give positive signs to where this company might end up in the future. So if I want to give you guys my price prediction for this company, right now it's trading at $2.75, or $2.87, my bad, after hours, and it's still going to keep on climbing because of their improved balance sheet. And their technology is still, you know, ahead of us game, in my opinion, okay? I don't know how much demand this specific technology is going to have in the medical field, but I do know that this technology is going to revolutionize the industry. The health industry is going to make surgeries more precise and less of human error, okay? The way they're making it, they're trying to make this machine or this robot precise enough to make sure humans have less human error. So in my opinion, I do think this stock is pretty much a buy, in my opinion, around this price range. I don't think it's gonna ever gonna go down back to $2 or $1.50. But then again, I may be wrong because it is a penny stock. But around now, around this price range, I do see a lot of potential in this company. And of course, it's in the medical field. So you, we all know that the medical field is or industry that is solidified in the platform. So I do see a lot of potential in this company. If I do have to say a price, I'll probably say around the highs around three to four dollars price range. That'll be around the highs for year 2021. And but I do see a lot of potential in this company. It will all depend to see how many people actually start to order this specific product. Okay. Right now everything is a little bit of speculation because I haven't seen any reports to how many people have actually bought into this yet? Or how many people are actually interested? Yes, they've done 45 procedures, but how many of them were actually you know, interested in buying into the product? Maybe they're working on things behind the scenes. Maybe that insider's purchase of shares might be a pretty good sign after all. All right, guys, so that's basically Time Medical. If you guys haven't really bought into the stock, at least have it on your watches. Keep an eye on it because I do see a lot of growth potential in this company, especially with the type of technology they are trying to improve and have. All right, guys, so as always, I always try to give you guys the most up-to-date information I possibly can. If anybody has any suggestions to what my future stock talks should be about, please comment down below. I would love to have those conversations with you down in the comment section. And as, and as always, always do enjoy 
appreciate the support I've been getting in my channel as of late, especially I would have never done it without any one of you guys. But and anybody that is new and you guys have watched all the way through, number one, I do appreciate it. Number two, if you guys want to be part of our growing community, please remember to subscribe down to the subscribe down in the button and hit the like button. All right, guys. So I do appreciate you all. Please take care of one another. Please wear your mask. And till next time, guys, have a great day and peace out. Love.